hating on my energy. Ooh, say why you hating on my energy? Say why you hating on my energy? I don't think you wanna be my enemy. Ooh, hey, why you hating on my energy? Ooh, say why you hating on my energy? Say why you hating on my energy? I don't. Oh yeah, buddy. What did he say? He said, wait on him or what? No, nah, no, nah, he said, go ahead. So I got to back up. So yeah, just, just a touch. Oh, they got their big pit too, boy. Look at that thing. Getting them back up just a little.
love you gonna reach. You can you can get this up here, but you ain't gonna be able to reach that back there. So I mean I can get in there. Doing all right, all right. Who I get this to? All right, am I? Okay, all right, appreciate you, yes, sir. Sweep it out. Hey, get the top. I'll get down there. I ain't gotta get the top. Oh, you ain't gonna get it? Uh -huh. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Just hand me that broom, bum me, please. Do what? What 
you ask me? Huh? What'd you ask me? I said, did you want me to close the door a little bit and give you a step? Oh. You're uh, a little taller than me, though. So, yeah, I gotta have the... Yeah. What's up world? Good morning. Beautiful day we have. Well, if you watched my last video, had a few issues at the end and it started this video. Um, got off the side of the road because I noticed if I will tell you the when you see a trailer with these lines on it going down the road if you have, and sometimes they have them on trucks too big companies they have them on on the, the tractor on the drives but if you don't know what these are this is a tire inflation system and it comes in real handy um, we actually have it on one of our flatbeds. If you pay attention and know how the system works, it will save you. Well, as you saw, opening up this tire had a, oh, and it's probably down on the bottom. But anyways, I'm riding down the road, me and Ken, and I'm always looking in my mirrors and I mean because that's just what you do. You look in your mirrors while you ride. Even though you're going forward, you still gotta look back. Ride down the road and out of the corner of my eye, and I'll show you guys on the front of the trailer, on the corner. This light was on and it caught my eye. I'm like, oh, I got a problem. So, uh, I hollered at Ken on the radio. I was like, hey, I got to pull over. Um, I got to check something out. My light's on on my trailer. So we pull over and time I open the door, I heard the ass. All the way up there at the cab, I heard the ass. So I know it's a pretty good leak. Come back here and found that that huge bolt in the tire. So, I mean, I'm not fixing to call roadside and have them to pay roadside to come out and fix the tire or probably put a new tire on. So I take, I always keep patches, or excuse me, plugs. So I plug the tire. I ended up having to put two plugs in that tire because that was a big hole. Um, got going and I may have to get it to a shop so I can get it patched because it was a pretty decent sized hole I don't want to keep riding on that plug or those plugs but yep so that hill kicked us back for a little bit we got unloaded and we didn't make it over here to get reloaded so we spent the night right here and you see Ken's loading. I'm loaded already. But we spent the night here. We loading wheat to go up to Atlanta. We're gonna kick this off this evening and see what they gonna have up, have for us from there. If nothing, I don't know, I may just go on to the house. I mean, I'll be well, I'll be on the uh, west side of Atlanta, so I'll be, what, two and a half hours from the house. So if they don't have anything for me, I may just shoot on to the house and call it a week since it is, it'll be Thursday evening. But yep, we're getting loaded. We're going to 
get on down the road. Wish my buddy Joe could have stayed with us, but he got held up on his load. As y'all saw in last video, I think he got unloaded yesterday morning, which, you know, it's coming out late for y'all. So it'll probably be what, three days from y'all but yep beautiful day please i'm not gonna ramble no more we're gonna get ken loaded and we're gonna try to shag on down the road we're gonna get a shower but we're gonna shag on down the road we'll get with y'all down the road well i didn't make it Notice my light come on again on the side of the road. We had to it pull the plug out. It's pretty warm today, but it pulled the plug out. So stuck another plug in there and made it, I don't know, 15 miles. And the light come on again and you can see it's starting to pull it back out so we call somebody to come fix it Yes, sir. I did. Look, I put, I put two plugs together. Yeah. You know, and stuck it down in there, and it was still leaking. Yeah. And which I got unloaded yesterday evening. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm gonna get down the road, and then I'm gonna get it fixed. Well, yesterday evening was nice, but yeah. today it's hot. That plug ain't staying. Oh, it was staying in there yesterday. Yesterday it stayed in there. This morning it come out. I pulled on the side of the road. I put two more in there. I um, 15 miles down, back down the road and then pulled out, started pulling out. So I limped it over here. I was like, man, I can't even make it over there to y'all. No. I can't fix that good. That's too big. Too big for the patch. Oh, I put a patch on it, but shit. That what you want me to do? Doggone it, man. Man, hold on. What thing got down? What thing there, huh? Pretty big old. Fun day in trucking. 
So we sat over here a hot minute. They couldn't get the numbers right. Oh, now we are splitting up and delivering to different places. Well, now I gotta drag this heavy load. Somewhere else. About 80, 90 miles. I'll be close to the house. I may just unload it and go home. Continue on Oakley Industrial we'll see. for two miles. We'll see, but let's get over here and get it all first. I'm ready to stop babysitting this load that I got behind me. It's heavy. It's heavy. Getting it off this morning. Kind of just dragging my feet. Thunderstorm, nice thunderstorm came through this morning. So I rolled over. I was like, yeah, I know I'm not going nowhere right now. Not doing anything in the thunderstorm. We got a water burger over here now.
Get out of this guy's way and I bring it back. Awesome. Thank you. Uh -huh.
we are done for the week. Home for the week. Ready to get this weekend started. Get all my junk out of here. Get my dirty clothes. Oh, shoot. Pull the button off. Got my dirty clothes. I'm a other little stuff that I take in and out of the truck. Leave this hat in here because it stay in the truck. Oh. I got a couple other things I need to get out, but I can come back and get them. I got to walk and go get my car. But we had a good week for the most part. Felt like a long week. Felt like I was out on the road for two weeks. But we home. We're going to get some R and R. We'll load Monday. Gonna do a load that we hadn't done in a while. We're gonna go load our little load of urea over in Augusta, Georgia, to go down to Lake City. So we'll start our week off with that. I could have went and loaded loaded it today, but nah, I don't want to. I don't like the guy that loads in the evening. He's really aggravating. And the reason why I don't like him is because my buddy Joe was supposed to load that load today. Well, they refused to load him over some stupid stuff about his trailer. But we'll load in the morning or Monday morning. Y'all have yourself a good weekend.